Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've walked to St Winnow Church. Our walk today comes from Classic Walks Cornwall, my favourite book. It's number 47, Lerin, St Winnow Church and Effie Woods. The first time we did this walk was in August 2007. Good for dogs and kids. Lerin is three miles south of Los Widio. So we've parked here today in Lerin Key Car Park. It's free parking, limited spaces, but we've managed to get a space today. Do you need to be careful? Warning, parts of this car park flood during high tides. So the walk instructions give you two options, one for low tide and one for full tide. You can see behind me, it's low tide. Cross the stepping stones and turn left onto the Creekside Walk. Muddy dog! <laughs> so we're passing in front of some of the older cottages here in Lerin. Lerin's little hamlet, been here donkey's ears. I think there's some sort of mining, silver mining from memory. Not quite sure though. We're going to go up to St Winnow Church, pass through the woodland and then return via fields. There's a little mill hidden in the middle of the woods so we're going to try and find that too. Tastes good does it boy, it's been filtered through all that moss. Got me wet. Look <laughs> at you wet. Yeah. Effie <laughs> Woods. See that glorious autumn sunshine just catching the tops of those beautiful trees. Woodland is beautiful, mixture of oaks, beech, the acorns on the floor. Amazing, loads of them. And I got my sweet chestnuts. Holly berries. That means it'll soon be Christmas. That mighty oak was felled by some awful wind, I suppose. In a few years, there'll be another one to take its place. Where the path forks, take a left. It wraps around the little inlet. and we're going to continue down there. What have you got? <gasps> More sweet chestnuts! Oh yummy! Look at my nuts! Oh look at all these! We're going to have to raid uh. these. Yes they're going in your backpack. Oh isn't that prickly? Oh how can you do that? We picked up quite a few sweet chestnuts from the woodland floor. Oh, they look incredible. We're going to have to find something good to do with them. Oh, what about a butternut squash maybe with some... <gasps> Stilton and bacon. Yeah, or maybe oh. some Cornish yarg with some bacon. Yeah, let's nice. get some Cornish yarg. After a short while, leave the wide track to walk on a wooded path once again. The waymark post indicates the position. What a superb place for a bench. Methinks it's time to stop. Well, I've really enjoyed my lunch with a view like that. Doesn't happen too often, does it? Just following this lovely track is brilliant. It's so easy to walk on. Well, apart from the prickly husks of the sweet chestnuts that are every few hundred yards. But this takes us straight to St Winnow. Don't you just love the sound of autumn leaves? I love autumn! <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. Oh, it's past there. Yeah, it says no access so beware of the bull. So we're just skirting around the creek but the seaweed tells me high tide goes above this path. The book doesn't suggest anything for high tide so I think you might have to go back through that um, field with a bull in it. 
brilliant. I can see the church, so I reckon we just carry on along there a bit more. So we've got a book here. I think this is from the late 1960s, early 1970s. And it tells us, we soon come in sight of that lovely spot around St. Winnow Church, which is close to the water's edge. Time should be found for a glance at the building, which is of late 15th century on Norman remains. The old bench ends are very quaint and the windows of much interest. The screen is a fine example and the pulpit a good piece of carving and arabesque design. Look at all those ancient stone crosses. Gonna have to go and have a little look. It's the second Baron Vivian, fourth Baron Vivian. This one must, must have been the most important one. You think that's the most important? Why is that? Biggest. <laughs> But it's actually the shortest look. Perhaps the fourth Baron thought he was most important. His wife's falling in the river though. Just behind the church is Angie's snack van. Are you just looking through our guidebook? Yeah, I was just looking here. But look, that one on the end there, it's completely upright when this book was written. It's at Winnow Barton Farm Museum. Oh look, it's old tractors. Oh, they're amazing. They're all so shiny, little red tractors. Look at them. So that's a David Brown 950. 1958-59. I lost you. It's amazing, it goes right back. Oh, where have you seen this? Look, this is another. old tractors, isn't it? Old David Brown from 1957. I guess if you love your tractors, this is the place for you, isn't it? Look, look, this is even older, 1942 David Brown. Was David Brown the only manufacturer of tractors? Yeah, do you think? this was an air ministry tractor built for airfields operations, returned to David Brown after the war for conversion to a thrasherman. Spent most of its working life winching timber. Oh, look, nice big fat padded seat there. I wouldn't mind sitting on that one. I feel like I'm on American pickers. <laughs> do you know, I was waiting for that. I, oh, I could have taken a book out that you were going to say that. Oh. My nanny and granddad had one of those. They used to mince all of their own meat. In fact, I used to push it. Well, they didn't like me pushing it down. Just in case I minced my own fingers. So obviously we're in the middle of a five mile walk. I would love to spend more time in here and show you everything. There's, there's plows, potato planters. It's amazing. So if you want to get lost for an hour in the middle of your walk, add it onto the time. <laughs> on the wrong side of the gate. Oh no, you can't do that. Bye. Oh no, look, he's looking on. Oh, ooh, there he goes. <laughs> Good boy. Sarah. Yeah. Visiting that farm mach machinery museum. Yeah. It's reminding me about someone I used to know. Who's that then? Well, he used to be really into farm machinery. Yeah. But then he switched recently to being really into kitchen appliances. Right. Yeah, he's an ex-tractor fan. Ah. Uh. That's one of your oldest jokes. Still rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Carrying the old man over. Okay, this one is a bit tricky. He's actually carried the whole way. Yeah, mommy, <laughs> His yeah. little tail still going. Lead time. Cows. Cows in next field. <laughs> so the exit out of this field is behind that black and white cow. I think we're just gonna give them a broad berth. Yeah, still munching away, not taking a blind bit of notice of us. Now it's a refusal. It's going to be an up and over again. Oh, baby, God, look at those feet. Carry me over, Sarah. No, I'm not carrying you over. You're big enough and old enough and whatever enough to get over yourself, see? Thank you. A double style! <laughs> so dropping down quite a steep hill in a field. Yeah. Lovely field. Surrounded now by woodland again, so it's um, feeling quite dark now that the sun has gone in. We've lost our sun! It's farming grass in this field, by the way. <laughs> a beech nut. From a beech nut. From one nut to another. Oh, so funny. I think we're on our final style. 
some quite steep steps down there that lead to a track, so we're going to just be careful. Alright, let me just catch him. Come here, boy. Oh, what have we got here? The old mill, isn't it? An old mill. Let's go and investigate. Gosh, really overgrown. Can't really figure out. The stream is there, but there's no obvious place for the water wheel, is there? So, Andrew, your challenge, should you wish to accept it, find an old image. Yeah, to try and work out where the wheel would have been. Yeah. Well, a little slight detour down to see the mill that's confused us. I'm going to retrace our steps back onto the track. And then I think we rejoin one of the little creeks or inlets that we skirted around earlier. I can't feel any so fast. Do you think that tree's having a bit of a rest? No. In again. The reflections in the water are almost perfect. It's like glass. Aren't they beautiful? 